Do you feel like you're just surviving an ordinary world? Or is every world your world? My name is Mary Moses and I do an ancient art technique called scrying. And in this technique, we learn what spirit has to say to us about our world and possible parallel or future realms that we can bounce to, ascend to, and even master. Stepping into our adepthood from manhood to godhood. Although this is an individual reading for Jonathan, if you're here, you're meant to hear this message. Jonathan, you are in an upper world. This means that you have been rebirthed. You have ascended. Like an embryo, you have doubled. You've left an old world behind, and this new world is a little peculiar, and we're not sure how to balance it yet. You're holding a flask at 11 o'clock with a saint around 11 o'clock. The halo should be around the saint, and yet it is on the flask. You are holding a teardrop and the shape of your hand looks like a crescent moon. You also have a bull above your head. This is one of your spirit guides. There's a heart and the leaves of the olive tree over your mouth. Also, the saint has her mouth covered as well. There's a heart with a doorway in the center of two poles, 1111. There's a part of you at three o'clock with a wand and you are a magician and you are trying to wake up a bear that is in hibernation with your wand. There is an underworld that is under the rainbow of the wings of the owl. And in this place, you left a world that drained your energy and a world that attacked your energy like the dragon. These are all alchemical symbologies. Um, the dragon is very significant in our spiritual ascension. In this new reality or new world, you are learning to hear and speak the voice of spirit. If we look around eight o'clock, there is you with your ears listening and the symbol of the saint with her mouth covered and your mouth covered by the olive branch is a symbol that you are learning to speak the voice of spirit. And your physical mind is quietening while your heart is beginning to awaken. This is the hibernating bear. Christians would call it your baptism of water. This is a time where it's not like the conventional explanation of baptism. It's actually a letting go and a cutting off of everything that you knew and everything that you felt in order to hear the voice of spirit, even if that spirit and the voice of the spirit is something that you might judge or even might not agree with. Spirit is going to ask you to follow their voice and listen to their voice and speak their voice regardless how you feel or what you think. So the bear is about strength and confidence. It encourages you to trust your instincts and trust yourself. But I don't think that it's necessarily about that. Your higher self is immortal and will have a voice and you will go through a marriage of flesh and spirit. And this voice will speak through you. It's a voice of truth that you want to follow. Because the bear is hibernating and you have not awoken this bear, this is a symbol of something that has not ignited within your DNA quite yet. When you awaken the bear, the voice of spirit will speak through you and you won't be able to control it. It'll just flow and truth will come out. You will not be able to stop yourself from speaking. You will take a leadership role. You'll be standing on the podium and people will listen to you because it's not you speaking. It is a divine spirit speaking through you. You will inspire others to wake up their hibernating bear. The allegory that I can give you is when Harry Potter went to Hogwarts, he went to a new world. He didn't know that he was a wizard. And his god and father was locked in Azkaban in a cell or a prison. So when God awakens within your cells at a certain age or a certain precipice, that is awakening your hibernating bear. It happens within your heart, within your DNA, and then it happens outside of you in your outer reality. It's like a new world, like Hogwarts. So you're going to go through a time of letting go. This is letting go of the flask. 
Um, and it entails many things. You're going to let go of um, a diet that consists of death, death food. You're going to start eating food that is life because you have to feed your spirit. This spirit is connect, now connected to you and requires life energy, joy energy. Suffice it to say we came from the moon, void of light, and now we're going into the light and we have to know how to maneuver and operate within this light. So when you awaken the bear within you, this is God and your higher self finally awakening within your DNA and begins to move you and shift you and ascend you to your destiny, to your adepted. And all you have to do is stay in the eye of the needle. This means believe nothing and don't be polarized by self-importance or even your own emotions. You're meant to be a wizard and you're meant to help activate not only yourself but others like a flame. But you did leave an underworld and this underworld was a place where people tapped into your energy in this new world you're going to learn how to cut people off of your energy because there is such a thing as a spiritual virus patience is a word here because it's a slow process it doesn't happen overnight i do have a formula for this and it's it's an act of cleaning cleaning your house cleaning your car cleaning your thoughts cleaning your emotions cleaning your relationships and then suddenly things begin to shift in your favor because you're no longer held down by the weight or gravity of the material world which is like the moon energy you are stronger than you realize you have more power within yourself than you realize your dna has supernatural powers that you have not been told are within you your heart is 5,000 times stronger than your brain and your heart is a brain it is an electromagnetic energy that talks to the electromagnetic magnetic energy that emits from the sun so your heart will actually begin to communicate with the sun so sun gazing with your eyes closed and standing barefoot will help to activate your heart chakra and help you to get downloads and to hear what you are meant to do and meant to say at this time so stand tall even when you feel worthless because you're not just you anymore you are half flesh half spirit imagine an invisible bear or a bull above your head and like a mama and papa bear you have to protect your energy because you're meant to be a lighthouse ships lost at sea will not be able to find their way if you lose your light i get this feeling like you have to go back into your past and literally mentally like harry potter went back and healed his self that was dying from the dementors and use your magic to heal your past in order to help your present self i don't know if that's true or not but that's the image i get of you at three o'clock with this wizard hat where your hat is the holy dove and your hand is the holy dove signifying that you are no longer you you are a vessel of truth and life and light and you're meant to do some peculiar things like remote view your past and actually awaken that hibernating bear. So let's talk about what the bull represents spiritually. Moses had a crescent moon above his head and the, the crescent moon is a symbol of the bull. It is a symbol of the moon. When you get the bull, it's something that encourages you in dark times. The bull is a symbol to trust in your higher self, not in the people in your world or even in yourself. But do trust that you have a heart which does things outside of your understanding. The bull is a symbol of hope. It comes to assure you that everything will be all right. It reminds you that you have inner strength, strength that must be activated like a hibernating bear. You're going to learn not to entertain negative energy even when negative energy is around you. Shamans call this learning to have controlled folly. There is a symbol that you work for the Galactic Federation and the American Space Force symbol is under the rainbow of the owl. The owl is a symbol of wisdom and it is a symbol of shifting realities like a polar shift, which is the number 1111. The teardrop is the eye of the needle. You are going through the eye of the needle. Every world is your world. And if it, if it is ordinary, believe in magic. Tap into your inner child. Awaken your inner child. Awaken the hibernating bear with your wand and 
Know that you can change an ordinary world into a beautiful, magical paradise. And when your words are no longer your own, but the words of your higher self, the truth that awakens within your DNA, the halo that is on the flask will go behind your head.